Can you solve a problem from the British Physics Olympia? Amy walks into a lift with a set of bathroom scales. She stands on the scales, presses on the button for the 30th floor and then starts a timer. She notices that the reading on the scale varies with time according to this equation. Write down an expression for the acceleration of the lift as a function of time. Let's consider the balance of the forces in the lift. We have the normal force which is acting upwards and then the weight acting downwards. So we can directly apply Newton's second law to get that n take away mg will be equal to the mass times the resultant acceleration. This of course means that the normal reaction will just be equal to ma plus mg. We can just write this as ma plus g. Now here is a tricky point. The perceived weight will be equal to the normal reaction divided by g because n is equal to the mass times g. So we also need to divide the right hand side by g and suddenly we have an expression for the measured mass. But this expression actually gives us the measured mass. So we can set those two equal to one another. Just before we do that though, notice something incredibly important. The mass at t is equal to zero is equal to 60. This means that the mass of the person has to be equal to 60 kilograms at time t is equal to zero when the lift is not moving. So setting those two expressions we get m a plus g divided by g is equal to 60, 1 plus t over 10, take away t squared over 100. As I said, the mass will have to be equal to 60, so we can directly cancel out those two expressions. All we need to do is rearrange for the acceleration, so what we get is a plus g is equal to g, and then we get 1 plus t over 10, take away t squared over 100. Let's take this factor of g and let's just bring it on this side of the equation. And now notice that this factor of g will cancel with this factor of g and our final expression for the acceleration as a function of time will just be equal to g and then we have t over 10, take away t squared over 100. For the next part, we need to find the speed after 10 seconds. Acceleration is changing with time, which means that we must integrate. The velocity is equal to the integral of the acceleration with respect to time. So all we need to do is integrate this expression and the speed will be equal to simply the integral of g t over 10 take away t over 100 with respect to time. g is a constant so we can take that outside of the integration sign and this is a fairly straight forward integral and um, what we will get is t squared over 20 take away t cubed divided by 300 plus a constant. The value of this constant will have to be equal to zero because when the time is equal to zero the lift is not moving. So after 10 seconds uh, let's say v subscript 10 will just be equal to g, which is just 9.81, and then t squared, so that's 10 squared over 20, take away 10 cubed over 300, and we get an expression for the speed to be equal to 16.35 meters per second. And now the final part of this question. After the initial 10 seconds the lift decelerates at a constant rate until it arrives at the 30th floor. Given that the 30th floor is 100 meters above the ground, calculate the minimum value of the mass reading. The first thing that we need to do is work out how much distance has the lift 
traveled in those 10 seconds? Well, displacement is simply the integral of the speed with respect to time. So what we need to do is integrate this expression. So we get the integral of gt squared over 20, take away t cubed over 300 with respect to t. g can be taken outside of the integral sign. Let's integrate this. So this will be equal to t cubed over 60, take away t raised to the power of 4, divided by 4 times 300, 1200, plus a constant. Now, because the displacement is zero at t is equal to zero, that means that this constant will also have to be zero. So in 10 seconds, we're going to travel 9.81 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 3 divided by 60, take away t to the power of 4 over 1200. And plugging that into a calculator, we get a distance traveled of 81.75 meters. Because the height of the building is equal to 100 meters, we're actually going to be decelerating at a constant rate for the remainder, which is 18.25 meters. And for this portion, we can use the Suvat equations to work out the minimum acceleration, and the minimum acceleration will correspond to the minimum reading on the scales. Final part, I'm going to say that v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as meaning that the acceleration is equal to v squared minus u squared over 2 times s. Final speed is 0, take away the initial speed, which is 16.35 squared, divided by twice the distance, which is 2 times 18.25. Five, and we get a value for the acceleration to be negative 7.32 meters per second squared. Now, this is the minimum acceleration. Let's find the minimum reading. Remember, the reading is equal to n over g, so all we need to do is plug this value for the acceleration into this expression. We're practically out of whiteboard space, so we're going to... So what we get is 60 times minus 7.32 plus g, which is 9.81, divided by 9.81. And plugging this into a calculator, we're going to get 15.2 kilograms as the perceived reading. And this is our final answer. What you need to do next is have a look at more problems from the same Physics Olympiad and this video is just over here.